I'm telling you that our leaders lie to us. They lie to us systematically. They lie to us with a purpose that may not be your purpose. If you don't defend yourself by filling your mind with a true understanding of what's happening in the world, then others will fill it up for you. And then at some point in time, use the information and the conditioning that they've planted in your mind and breast uh, to use you, because we are programmable. The MK Ultra program, we don't have full detail about this, but we have enough to know enough to be thoroughly chilled by it. There were 175 different projects in that one program. We know of about five of them. These were experimentations with swine fever, with dengue fever, with deadly diseases, with psychedelic drugs, on American population groupings without their permission in many cases. And then you get into the movies we've been feeding ourselves during this military buildup during the 80s. Rambo, Commando, Red Dawn, the Rocky series, under, under Siege, Delta Force, America, Missing in Action, Top Gun, Heartbreak Ridge, Death Before Dishonor, Platoon, Hamburger Hill, Tour of Duty, China Beach, and they go on and on. How many people saw the movie Red Dawn, by the way? This is fun. Don't be embarrassed. It's a great movie. Now, the science fiction is that they have a force, as you recall, of Russians, Cubans, and Nicaraguans who've invaded the United States, and they've gotten all the way to the Rocky Mountains. Anyway, this force gets all the way to the Rocky Mountains, where they're eventually stopped by the high school football team. <laughs> now, so why did they pick the high school football team? You see, the answer is obvious. They're going to fight the next war with the 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds. It's not going to be the middle-aged 50-year-olds. We're too smart. We've seen the cynicism of war. We wouldn't buy it. It's at that age, the high school graduates, many of them have not yet had a chance to fill their minds with experience to understand what the world is all about, to understand how they're being used. These things are not meant to educate. See, that's where they're reaching inside people's breasts and pressing buttons and manipulating people to join the army and be all that you can be and be available to be sent down to Central America to kill people and to die for your country. We were conditioned by childhood experiences to believe that these were noble and right things to do, defending our country from the evils of this, that, and the other. When we're up against the power structure, we're up against the military-industrial complexes with the media bought and woven right into the thing. The multinational defense corporations have no great loyalty to the United States. They are no longer U.S. corporations. They make enormous profits and invest the money overseas. They are quite willing to sell the U.S. economy down the drain in order to make their profits.